Hello, Adabel Carson. We are so excited to have you here to talk about how amazing your life has been since your creation of essential oils into your yoga practice and just your life. Your Instagram is at Adabel B. Carson. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks. Thanks so much, Courtney, for having me. Well, we would love to hear a little bit of your journey of how you got introduced to essential oils and then how using them, you just started to think, I should bring these into my yoga practice. Please tell us more. Okay, I hope my sound is all right. Um, I'm here in Waikiki right now, away from home on a family vacation. So um, let me know if it gets a little bit choppy or you can't hear me. I am, um, I've been on this yoga journey for quite a while. Um, I have five children, so after my fourth child, I, I had kind of postpartum with each of them. Um, but with my fourth one, it really hit me like, I don't know, extra hard. So I found yoga as the means to truly, truly help me come out of that. And then I went to a class randomly. They had essential oils in the class. And I said, oh my gosh, <laughs> this takes my yoga practice to an entirely different level. And um, I said, I've got to do this. This is what I've got to do every time I, I do a yoga practice. And then shortly afterwards, I um, became a certified instructor, not meaning to ever teach, just to um, dive deeper into my yoga practice just for myself. And, um, and you have to do so many hours of community service to get your certification. And I just started combining essential oils in my classes from day one. So, um, and then it, that kind of, that journey took me to several different companies of essential oils. When I ran out, I would just go to Whole Foods and get whatever smelled good on the shelf. And then my sister-in-law gifted me the, um, the intro kit for a birthday present. And I opened up Peppermint and that rocked my world. And that was it. <laughs> I had to use doTERRA in all my classes in my life everything and I've never been happier it's um yeah truly changed my life completely so I love that how has how have essential oils improved your family life or your personal life or um in addition to being a benefit to your yoga practice um gosh it has incorporated into every fiber of my life and so with my family it's our first response to everything. So um, my youngest at the time when doTERRA was brought in to my life was, um, gosh, he was just a newborn. And then my oldest at the time was 14, 15. And so um, anytime, and we kind of baptism by fire, like my daughter, my 15 year, year old, I think she was really um, coming down with, she used to get recurring um, uh, strep infections. So one time I just put oregano in the diffuser and told her to put a, a towel over her head and start breathing it in. And she kept saying, mom, this really burns. And I'm like, that means it's working. Keep doing it. <laughs> and so um, anyway, we, we learned that kind of the trial and error way what works, but um, she got sick and she got well shortly after that. So it did the trick, but it was a little bit um, harsh <laughs> the way we, she got into using that so but um so yeah for first response and everything from scraped knees to um sore throat um to everything in my house that's a cleaning um product we only use i have all my kids kind of have skin issues and allergies um my third daughter she has asthma so that was the first thing um, that we found is that the essential oils were a great support to her respiratory needs. And I completely, um, 100% attribute the essential oils to helping her lungs get um, stronger and finding that support when she really needed it. And so that kind of started weaving into our life and our everyday life, um, how we would use it for emotional well-being, I would diffuse that wild orange to help kids when they came home from school to keep energy up as well as emotions 
um, happy and joyful. And then for, um, for my own personal use, um, everything, like everything that I could think of, but my, I always call it doTERRA's secret um, product because I don't know if enough people understand how amazing the skincare line is, but I also have like skin, a lot of skin sensitivity and have just my whole life looked for skincare that didn't break me out or cause rashes or things like that. And when the skincare line came out, I jumped in, never once had any kind of um, skin irritations or sensitivity whatsoever. So I've gotten almost everyone that I can on the, um, the regimen of using all those products. And the beauty of it is I get to see um, a lot of people a year after, because I do conferences mainly in sharing doTERRA. And so I have yearly or annual visits to these areas of these conferences and I'll see people and I'll say, what, what, they look so amazing. Like at least five years, you know, five years look much, their skin looks much younger. And I'll ask, what have you been doing? And they say, well, you told us about the skincare line and about frankincense on um on the skin on the face and that's all i'm doing and it makes such a difference just like i can see it you know one year later um that's amazing transformation yeah are, are there any specific resources that you use to guide people through their knowledge of learning these essential oils you know i use um i just tell them my journey in this was baby steps like just learning when we needed, when we had a need, that's how I would learn, and I would go to the book. So my go-to is the um, the Essential Life book, and before that was there, then I use the Modern Essentials. So, um, but now the Essential Life, I love that because it's so thorough, and mm -hmm. it's beautifully written, and um, and the resources are just easy, easy to access in the book. So that's where I tell them if you have a question go into the book um, and that's where, you know, and if it's, and it'll give you protocols, work through those, um, the suggestions in there. And because there's so many different suggestions, it's because we're all so different. So just keep looking, finding what works for you. And so as far as like one thing that I really share with people too is, um, to understand what their dosha is. This is like your energetic constitution that you were, were born with. And it kind of changes in our life journey, but um, for the most part, it kind of stays the same. And for me, I discovered early on um, three essential oils that kind of just balance me. And I have to use these three essential oils every day. And that's um, geranium, lavender, and wild orange. And I combine those three different different um, uh, con uh, concentrations of those essential oils and then I'll put it on the with the fractionated coconut oil and I'll use that as all over body moisturizer I'll use it just throughout the day just to smell but I feel like if I not if I don't have that my energies are just like all over the place so yeah. um, so that's another thing that I will share with people is just understanding what their energetic constitution is and kind of where they lean towards and then using essential oils to help balance that. That's incredible. How do you go into learning what your dosha is? So there's, there are online um, questionnaires that you can fill out and then it will, it will help you um, kind of pinpoint, it'll give you, there's three doshas. So there's kapha, pitta, and vata, and they all correspond to elements in the on in the earth and so um kapha is more of your your um earthy very grounded energy and pitta is fire and then vata is wind and so um depending on you know the characteristics of those but multiple things just how maybe your body shape or the way your body um processes um fuel and also just your kind of like your mental state of your uh, your emotional state of how you handle life in mm. general um, will kind of determine what those doshas are. So uh, 
yeah, so usually I can look at somebody and kind of talk to them for just a few minutes and, and have a good guess of what their dosha is. Mm. So some people are very balanced, like they're equally balanced in all three energies. And then, but most people, um, that's, that's more rare, but most people are more, um, they gravitate towards two of those doshas. And so we kind of, we want to balance those two out. Amazing. I love that. And are you, yeah. is, does your book relate to the dosha balancing? I know that you have a book coming out, don't you? Yeah. So I know it's, I've been saying I'm updating it forever and ever, but um, when we had to transition to everything being compliant language in our resources, that's taken kind of a longer journey um, for me. And, and then my daughter is doing all the artwork in it. So, but for sure, this convention will have the second edition up and running. Um, and I know people have held on to their first edition saying, when are you going to get this? This is falling apart on me. So um, hold on to those and then it will be out. It's called Essentials for Yoga. And it's just a small booklet. Um, five by three, I think, is the size. No, maybe a little bit bigger, five by five. And, um, and so watch for that at Oil Life on um, this uh, convention. So a couple months it'll be available. So excited. I'm sure that'll help everyone guide yoga and essential oils into their practice. Do you have any tips yeah. that you'd like to give on how people can incorporate essential oils into their practice or what your favorite essential oils are to use in your practice? So um, it's really tricky in the practice because I do things differently in my personal practice than I would in a class. So in my personal practice, I will um, just kind of look at my collection of essential oils and know what kind of tune in and meditate some, a little bit right there to guide me what essential oil I need um, for that particular day. So because I feel very comfortable with the essential oils and use them um, every day, I, I'm, you know, what I do for myself will be very different than what I do for my class. For my classes, um, generally, I always, always ask, is there anyone here that is sensitive to um, aromas or plants in any way? And, um, and I'll use, say that in the beginning, and then I'll kind of walk around. Because, you know, sometimes the collective energy in a class, someone might not say anything because they don't want to be the, you know, they don't want to ruin it for everyone else. So I kind of walk around giving people... Um, the space that they can come up to me personally and say, oh yeah, I have a sensitivity or I don't. But for the most part, no one really has um, ever come up and said, oh yeah, I can't use essential oils. Um, so then what I do is um, I have used diffusers in the past and if I have a smaller room, a diffuser works really well. But usually the space that I teach at, they're a little bit larger and I feel like the, the aroma from the diffuser kind of gets lost. Um, but sometimes just that, you know, that, that um, mist that comes up and the light from the diffuser um, has a very calming effect. So I'll use that and maybe some people in the front will get the aroma of, the, of, the, of that what I've used in the diffuser. And then generally I always stick to um, either one blended oil or um, single oils. And I'll combine those single oils, no more than three at a time. Um, but my favorite way to use it, which I do at every class, is I get doTERRA's Ultra Fine um, Mist uh, spray bottle, mm -hmm. continuous spray bottle. And I'll fill that with water and I'll put maybe 10 drops of wild orange, 10 drops of peppermint. And I'll walk around um, towards the end of the class, not right at Shavasana, but towards the end of the class and just go down the aisle and spray that on people. And I love the ultra fine mist because it, um, it, it doesn't even wet the skin. It, you just kind of get that, that aroma around you and a little bit of that sensation on the skin and then it, it evaporates away. So my hot yoga classes, they love that, and um, and so that's what I found is works for almost every class that I teach, but 
especially for hot yoga. So cool. Oil Life actually has a continuous spray <laughs> bottle now as well. We love it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's how, a great How have using essential oils in your, how has it helped grow your business using it in your yoga practice? Do you have any tips around that? Yeah, for sure. Um, I would say, I think we talked about this a little bit when we um, kind of uh, scheduled this meeting. How has my yoga business grown because of essential oils? And I would say it's only grown because of the essential oils. Um, at the time, most people didn't use yoga or essential oils with, with yoga. And I just kind of felt um, when that was introduced to me that that was, gosh, not to be cliche or cheesy, but that was kind of like, that was my, that was going to be my theme. That was going to be my message to the world is combining the power of these. And I think because it came from such a deep, authentic place, that is what's propelled me. I never thought that I would, you know, use yoga as a career or essential oils as a career, but it's, it's taken me around the world. And, um, and that's the only, that's the only way that I, I, I present myself as a yoga instructor is with the oils. And so it is because of the essential oils that I do have a yoga business, a yoga career. Wow, that is so powerful. Adabel, what is your rank in doTERRA? Uh, so I'm a diamond. <laughs> I'm a stable diamond for quite a while now. Um, let's see, I've been doing the business eight years. So three years in, I became diamond. So about five years I've been diamond and trying to hit um, blue diamond. But I am not, one of my top three strains is not um, to be uh I don't know. I like the the strategic way to place members is not my forte. So, but I will tell you this: my forte is if you get me in front of anybody, I can enroll anybody. Why? Because I use essential oils like every single day. I I completely believe in them in helping um, every aspect of life, and so I just share that with people, and they're and they. I think they feel that energy as well. And um, it's an easy thing. I feel I've always told people I've never enrolled anybody. It's just I teach them how to use essential oils, what their benefits are. And the products sell themselves, right? The doTERRA. So awesome. So, so beautiful. Um, yeah. So I think my, my, my block to hitting my next rank is I've got to learn a little bit more business strategy. So I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we believe in you. And thank you so much for sharing so much honesty and truth in your practice and in your experience with essential oils. I'm sure that that just bleeds right over and people are spot in just by seeing how much you've been affected by them. Um, but please share with everyone where they can follow your journey, your socials. We've just had such an excellent time speaking with you today. Oh, thanks so much, Courtney. You're so cute. <laughs> and it was fun to have um, that yoga practice with you at Oil Life. So hopefully we'll be able to do that again. But um, I'm not the best at social media, but you can find me at um, on Instagram at the address that you mentioned. And I am not literate very much. So I think it's called address, right? Or my profile name, Adabel um, B. Carson. Yeah, Adabel B. Carson. And then I'm just Adabel Balatico Carson on Facebook. And my website is essentialsforyoga.com. And um, I am doing a yoga retreat in October to Grabi, Thailand. So if anybody would like to join me, I have a few rooms available um, that, that are left. So Courtney, do you want to come with me? Oh, that sounds so fabulous. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> yeah, about a week. Oh, let me see if I, about a week in, um, Grabby Thailand, so, and then an extra couple of days if you want to be in Bangkok with me, and I'll show you around. So, so cool. Think about it. <laughs> so cool, Adabel, and everyone, please go watch her incredible yoga class that is on oillife.com under our events. The recording is there for you to take the class with her, and check out her book when it comes out. Thank you so much for your time, Adabel. Have a blessed day. Thank you. You too.